Thanks for clicking on this channel. The Olu of Wari is a blood relation of the Oba of Benin. The Wari Kingdom was established in the year 1480 by King Kinua I, one of the princes of the Benin King, Oba Olua, the 14th Oba of Benin. Titled as the Okiman, an Edo word meaning ruler of the sea or king of the waters, the Olu of Wari is the cultural and traditional leader of the Itsekiri ethnic nationality, located in coastal parts of Delta State and some riverine parts of Edo State, in the Niger Delta area of Nigeria. Due to its advantageous proximity to the sea and estuaries around the Bight of Benin, the Kingdom of Wari acquired immense wealth accumulated through trade and cultural exchanges with European explorers and transatlantic seafarers over the centuries. The original and ancestral Olu of Wari Palace built by Injijin, the first son of Olu Kinua, is located at the center of Oditsakiri, an island further away from the mainland of Wari. Oditsukiri is also known as Big Wari. Traditional rites and coronation of all Olus are held at the ancestral abode of the king in Oditsukiri. According to Prince Pius Ebiyemi Imiko, the Olu of Wari is a Benin man. Maybe a lot of people don't know this. He is Benin by blood relation and lineage, because the very first Olu of Wari was a son to Oba Olua, his name was Ikinua. He left Benin about 1480 to come down here to establish the Wari Kingdom. He went by the title of Kinua I. When he passed away his son, Injijin, succeeded him as the second Olu of Wari. Injijin was actually the one who founded Big Wari, Oditsukiri. Kinawa did not make it to Big Wari, he passed away at Injala, somewhere behind the Wari refinery. The exodus of Prince in Kinua from Benin was a movement of royalties, and nobles including the eldest sons of 70 chiefs of the Benin Kingdom in the 15th century. The palace on the mainland of Wari serves as a private residence for the Olu of Wari, the king. It is located at Akurid Itsekiri area of Wari, close to Ogunu. The sprawling royal quarters adorned with numerous apartments and various sizes of reception halls is designed in a European style. Furthermore, only a portion of the palace is open to the public. With well-manicured lawns and spacious environment, some areas are designed as a private residence for the king, while the palace has been redesigned by successive kings as they take over the reign thereby making the palace look as modern as can be with global trends in royal architecture. The Olu Palace also has presidential suites which has housed prominent visiting royalties, including the present Sultan of Sokoto during a royal trip to the Kingdom of Wari. The royal court of the Olu of Wari also has helipad that can accommodate two or three choppers at any single moment. The Olu of Wari Palace is well administered by Chief Malagimi, the Abaloi of Wari Kingdom. Festivals and Activities at the Palace The palace plays host to lots of activities almost daily however, 
The annual events attracts more visitors to the kingdom. Disputes between families and communities are resolved at the palace by the Olu. A major attraction is the coronation of new chiefs by the king as the exercise is done yearly on a date fixed solely by the Olu. The palace also plays host to the Awankara festival, which is done to unify every descendant of Wari. The occasion features a masquerade dance, humor, drinking and eating, and a performance by Itsukiri children. Okiman Suwa First written for Alice, the in-flight magazine for air peace by Henry Omoriji. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel and click on the notification button, so that whenever we upload a new video you will be notified.